how to insert title block in AutoCAD automatically. If you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD every Tuesday, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. To start, open your blog library. Here, you are going to set up your title blocks. As you can see, I have two title blocks right now, which will be inserted in any drawing with your AutoCAD lazy title block command. If you don't have one, I'll leave this architectural library on video description. So here in paper space, Let's create a new layout by clicking this plus sign, click on it, and go ahead and rename this layout with your desired title block name. For this example, I'll name it Dollar General Portrait. Next, go ahead and Copy and paste your desired title block. For this example, I used Ctrl C to copy previously my title block and now I'm gonna use Ctrl V. I'll paste it at 0, 0, 0,0,0 origin point. As you can see, you can bring here not only your title block but any related item such as DWG title tags images and so on. Next, go ahead and right click on the layout and choose Page Setup Manager. Here, select this layout and click Modify. Make sure to pick all of your favorite settings here, DWG to PDF, choose your desired page, choose your desired paper size, for this example, the size of my title block it's 24 by 36 portrait and make sure scale line weight is checked and choose your desired plot style. Also, make sure extends is selected and center the plot. Once it's done, Click Preview. Make sure your title block align nicely with this border and press OK. Close Page Setup Manager. As you can see, your title block fits nicely this time. Finally, go ahead and add a viewport by typing MV command and pressing enter. Specify the first corner point which is right here, click, and then the second point right here, click. Double click to get inside your viewport and pick your desired drawing scale. I'll pick 316 for this example. Once you're done, double click outside your viewport to get out of it and finally select your new viewport and put it in your desired layer. I'll prefer to put it on death point so it's ready. Make sure to double click on this layout and copy by using Control C because this will be important to create your lazy title block command. So close this block library and save. Let's open a brand new drawing. As you can see these layouts are empty and let's create our new lazy title block command. So go ahead and type CUI and press enter. 
Here in the customized user interface, click this star icon to create a brand new AutoCAD command. Next, type in the name for your new command. Just for this example, I'll choose Dollar General Portrait. Click the macro section and here go ahead and type in the following code. Let me explain you this code really quick. CC to get out of any active command. Then you'll use the command line version of layout command following by template and the path for your template in this case the block library if we open it let me arrange this let me arrange this so you can see better the path for your block library would be this in your windows explorer so simply copy that and paste it over here in your code and the only thing that you will change is the slash. As you can see this slash is facing to the left. You will change it here in the code to face to the right. Then here you will change the layout name for dollar general portrait because that's the one that we set. And then again here, type the same layout name. That would be all for your macro code. So click OK. And then select your command. And here you can click on it to specify an image or icon. This would be for a small image and this for a large one. Finally, click your new command, left click on it, hold and drag it all the way up here to your AutoCAD quick access panel. Click apply and then OK. As you can see, your new command is over here. However, I would like to share with you also how you can add this command to your tool palette. So type control 3 to open your AutoCAD tool palette. Right click on it and choose customize commands. Here Go ahead and find the go ahead and find your new command dollar general for this example right left click on your mouse and drag it to your tool palette now you can right click on it and choose a specify image I'll pick this image, but you go ahead and find your desired one. Let's click OK. And let's go ahead and test your new command. Click on it. Awesome. Your lazy title block command works perfectly. Alternatively, you can also use it from your AutoCAD access panel. So click on it. Awesome. And this is how you save time in AutoCAD. Remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video. I'll see you here next week.